I am Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from previous test paper. Here is the one on probability. Cards numbered 1 to 1000 are in a box. One card is randomly picked from the box. Find the probability of picking a card with. Now there are three different questions based on this information. A. A number which is a multiple of 4. Question 2 is. A number divisible by 2 or 3 and 3 is at least 1 7 right so find probability of picking a card with at least 1 7 right so these are the three related questions I like you to pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions so we know that there are thousand cards right 1 to 1000 so total in our sample space Whenever you are picking, there are 1000 cards. So there are 1000 items in our sample space. Now, in each case, let's look into the favorable events. So in the first one, a number which is multiple of 4. So from 1 to 1000, how many multiples of 4 do we have? Well, if I divide 1000 by 4, Half is 500, then half of that is 250. So we have 250. So for event A, we can say that favorable numbers are 250 out of 1000. And therefore, the probability for multiple of 4, of 4 is how much? It should be. 250 divided by 1000 which is 1 over 4 right so that is how we get part a right now let's look into part b in part b we are talking about a number which is divisible by 2 or 3 so it is a probability we are looking for divisible by 2 or means union or 3 right so in this case when we are looking into this probability we have to write what is what are the numbers divisible by 2 how many numbers are divisible by 3 but we have to take away what is common right intersection of those so basically that becomes probability of numbers which are divisible by 2 right plus probability for numbers divisible by 3 and from this we should take away the the probability for numbers divisible by 2 and 3 that means 6 is that clear to you so that is how you should be getting your answer right so so we can write down that total of course is 1000 right out of these the numbers which are divisible by 2 are half of these which are 500 correct plus numbers which are divisible by 3 so when you divide this by 3 you get 333 3, 3, right so we can say 333 correct now the numbers which are divisible by 6 will be half of these right so half of these will be you can say okay so you can say 166 right it is 0 0.5 so we'll just round it to 166 after all uh, half of this will be divisible by 6 correct so that becomes your favorable cards which you're looking for as multiples of 2 or 3 right so we have here 500 plus 333 minus 166 right and then we'll divide this by 1000 to get our answer which is 0 0.667 or you can say 67 percent is it clear to you so 67 percent are the cards with numbers divisible by 2 or 3 perfect so that's how we're going to answer this question now Let's answer the last question, which is kind of tricky, which is find probability of picking a card with at least one seven. The numbers are 
from 1 to 1000, right? So, so we have four places to work with. Now, 7 could be in the first position, right? It cannot be here, right? So we cannot place 7 here, 1000, right? You cannot start with 7. So now we're looking to different cases to get the answer for this. If I place 7 in this, then we could have 10 numbers here, right? So I place 7 here. So 10 numbers here are possible and 10 also are possible in this position, right? So we have at least one 7 here. And if I have 7 here, it is fine. We'll have two 7s. And if there's a 7 here, we could have three 7s also. But anyway, total number in this case, let's call this as our case 1. We have 10 times 10, which is 100, right? So starting with 7, we could have 100 numbers. Now, the second option could be that we have for sure one seven in the second place. Now if seven is in the, I mean the third place, which is the ones and tens place. In that case, we cannot have any seven here, right? That is not possible. However, the numbers which we can place here should be now nine because we have already covered the case having a seven here, right? So out of the 10 numbers, we are left with only nine numbers to be placed here. However, in one's place, we could pick from one to zero to nine, any of these 10 numbers, right? So we have nine times 10, which is 90 options. Now, if we say for sure seven is there in the third place, which is one's place, in that case, we like to have nine numbers here, right? Maximum, since we have already considered a case with seven, here also only nine are possible. Seven, seven in this position has been covered, right? So we have nine times nine, which is 81. And therefore, this total here is how much? Uh, it is eight plus nine, 17, 271. So there are 271 favorable cases as compared to total options of 1000 and therefore the probability of at least 17 is equal to 271 over 1000 is that clear to you so that is how we are going to answer this question so i hope the logic is absolutely clear feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best